Step 12. Pedestrian Door and or Window Frameouts. Your pedestrian door frameout is appropriately labeled such and individually packaged. If your door is being placed on one of the eave side walls, the frameout parts will be made of 2 inch by 3 inch tube. If on the gable end, it will be made of 2 inch by 2 inch parts. We'd like to cut out the base rail where the door is going to go. This will allow the threshold of the door to be placed directly on the concrete slab and not have a 2 inch piece of base rail to step over. This can be accomplished using a sawzall with a metal cutting blade, a grinder with a cut-off wheel, or a simple handheld hacksaw if that's all you have available. The parts to do the pedestrian door frame-out are a header piece and a side door jam piece. These combine with one of the vertical uprights to form an opening for your door. Obviously, you would want to remove a base rail where there's a concrete expansion anchor. Pedestrian doors are not included with your kit, but many different varieties can be purchased at your local hardware store and for a price that is under what we could supply them to you because of the shipping charges. And in the case of windows, there's not only the shipping charges, but also the possibility of a lot of broken glass. And there are lots of styles, so go to your local hardware store for these things. To figure out the size for your door, simply measure the outside dimensions of your pre-hung door and add a quarter inch to give yourself a little room. Or if you want, just use the door or window itself. If going this route, place the door in the opening, then place the header on top of the door or window and attach it to the side vertical posts with the flat angle brackets. The side jam tube will need to be cut to fit the space from the base rail to the bottom of the door header, or in the case of the window, the distance from the bottom header, or sill, to the top header. Attach it at the top with a flat angle bracket, and at the bottom with a flat bracket on the inside of the building. Use only one or two screws per flat angle bracket, as you might have to remove them and make some adjustments. With the window, use the flat angle brackets on each corner on the outside so that none of the brackets obstructs the installation of your window. Place the door and window in each opening and make sure they fit nicely. Make whatever adjustments are necessary. Then put the remaining frame screws into the flat angle brackets.